Ages of 9 to 14 is a very, very important time in terms of development and at this time friendships are very, very important because as they approach adolescence, young people really want to fit in. You've always got people you can like go out with and turn to and talk to and stuff and like just have a laugh with because they can't, because if they're your friends and they don't really judge you and you feel really comfortable with them. There's a lot of things in life that you can't tell your family. so. You sort of have to rely on your friends to be there for you and to help support you through things. One minute someone's their best friend and the next day they're not talking to them and they're sworn enemies. It could be that they hear that somebody has said something about them that's really critical so they then get cross to that person and whole groups then can start being at war with one another. Stealing one another's boyfriends or girlfriends. So there's an awful lot of ups and downs. I used to have rows with my friends quite a lot but then I thought well it's a bit pointless because it, we were only rowing over small things. So we just sort of like apologised and got over it and moved on. Asking them about how they're feeling and also asking about how the other person is feeling is really important as well. Then you can move towards thinking about strategies that you can do to, to help them work through this. So whether it's writing a letter to my friend or whether it's going to sit somewhere different at break time or starting a new activity to find a new set of friends very practical things that the child can do to help them get through the situation. As a parent, it's, it's treading the fine line between reassuring and saying everything will be okay, don't worry, you're doing a really, really good job, and the, the other side of the line being accepting that at times in life people aren't nice to you and things do happen that make you feel sad. On the whole, I try and tell her just to get along with each other, um, try and sort it out themselves. Um, sometimes it can't be done like that, so we would go to the teacher and hopefully they can deal with the situation. Giving her advice is just enough, that's it. I, getting involved, is, is, you've got to make them look quite bad, so they'll have to sort it out themselves. If something becomes more serious and we're made aware of it, and and uh, your child thinks, well, look, I need to talk to my parents about it, then fine. But it would have to be something major. I think it's all part of growing up. Let them know, I was a teenager once. Times were different, pressures were different, but this is what I found helped. And talking to them about that could really help them find solutions for themselves as well.